Do you recall the first time you watched the 1956 movie World Without End? Were you captivated by the science fiction wonder of it all, or did a particular character's journey resonate with you in a profound way? As we delve into this classic film, we invite you to reflect on your own personal connection to it. Can you share a personal story of how this movie has inspired or impacted your life? Or perhaps, out of the many roles in this movie, which one was your favorite? Now, let's set the stage for some intriguing facts about World Without End. This sci-fi gem, directed by Edward Burns, transports us to a post-apocalyptic world where a group of astronauts finds themselves in a perilous future. As they struggle to navigate this new reality filled with bizarre creatures and unexpected challenges, the film unfolds with suspense and excitement. It's fascinating to note that World Without End was a product of its time, reflecting the era's fascination with space exploration and the unknown. This movie seamlessly blends the curiosity of the 1950s with a timeless sense of adventure that still resonates with audiences today. But we're not done yet. We want to hear from you about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Did it ignite your love for science fiction or perhaps spark your imagination in a unique way? We can't wait to hear your insights. So, let's dive into the world of World Without End and the connections it's forged with its viewers. Share your thoughts and experiences and let's celebrate this classic together. Your stories are waiting to be shared in the comments below. The 1956 movie World Without End was a significant production for allied artists. It aimed to improve Monogram's image by departing from their usual low-budget, short-running time B-pictures. This film received a larger budget, was shot in color, and cinema scope, and ran longer than their typical films. This strategic move allowed allied artists to book it under percentage contracts, rather than flat rates, indicating their desire to break away from the poverty row label. This effort to elevate the studio's reputation marked an important shift in the way Monogram Pictures was perceived in the industry. The 1956 movie World Without End is named after a Catholic devotional doxology. The title comes from the modern Anglican version of the doxology which goes, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now, and ever shall be, World Without End. Amen. This doxology is a part of Christian liturgy and is a prayer of praise. In this science fiction film, the title is used to convey a sense of eternity or a world without an end. The film is notable for not crediting anyone who worked on the special effects, which is quite unusual for a science fiction movie. This lack of recognition for the special effects team is a distinctive aspect of world without end. Moreover, writer and director Edward Burns reused the motorized spiders featured in World Without End in two other films, Queen of Outer Space and Valley of the Dragons. This demonstrates the resourcefulness of filmmakers in the 1950s, who often repurposed props and effects for multiple projects to save on costs. In summary, World Without End gets its title from a Christian prayer, lacks screen credit for its special effects, and features motorized spiders that were reused in other films by the same director. These details shed light on various interesting aspects of the movie. World Without End, a 1956 science fiction film, is often noted for an ironic casting choice. Hugh Marlowe, who played the protagonist in the movie, had previously portrayed the villainous Tom Stevens in The Day the Earth Stood Still. This casting decision added an interesting twist to the film, as Marlowe's transition from a villain to a hero in the sci-fi genre raised some eyebrows. The movie was released as part of a double bill with Indestructible Man in 1956. This meant that viewers got two sci-fi films for the price of one ticket, making it a notable cinematic experience of its time. Writer, director Edward Burns originally considered actors like Sterling Hayden and Frank Lovejoy for the lead role, but producer Richard V. Hermans ultimately chose Hugh Marlowe. Marlowe's salary request was only a quarter of what other actors were demanding. Despite this budget-friendly decision, Burns claimed that Marlowe was often lazy and unprepared during the production of World Without End. In summary, World Without End is a 1956 science fiction film that gained attention for casting Hugh Marlowe, previously a sci-fi villain, as the hero. It was released as a double bill with another sci-fi movie, Indestructible Man, offering audiences a two-for-one deal. 
The casting and budget choices behind the film added some interesting elements to its production history. A 1956 movie World Without End is notable for several reasons. One interesting fact about this film is that the ship swinging, individual control panels were previously used in the 1950 movie Destination Moon. This reuse of said elements highlights the practicality of filmmaking during that era. In the movie, a character named Timek informs the group that, according to their ancient calculations, the year is 2508 ad. This futuristic setting adds a unique dimension to the storyline, taking viewers on a journey to a distant future. It's also worth mentioning that the poster art for World Without End was created by the renowned illustrator Reynold Brown. Brown's artistic talent contributed to the movie's promotional material, helping to draw audiences into the post-apocalyptic world depicted in the film. These facts provide a glimpse into the interesting aspects of the 1956 movie World Without End. The reuse of said elements, the futuristic setting, and the artistic contributions of Reynold Brown all contribute to the film's historical significance. In the 1956 movie World Without End, there is an interesting twist on the usual post-apocalyptic scenario. Unlike similar films like George Pal's The Time Machine, where advanced humans live above ground and primitive beings reside underground, this movie flips the script. In World Without End, the humans are advanced and live underground, while the mutates are primitive and live above ground. This unique take on the post-apocalyptic world sets it apart from other films of its time. One noteworthy fact about the movie is that with the passing of Nancy Gates in March 2019, Lisa Montel became the last surviving member of the credited cast. This adds a historical note to the film's legacy, as it marks the passing of time since its release. The movie also features scenes filmed at the famous Garden of the Gods formations at the Iverson Movie Ranch. These formations have been featured in a wide range of films, from biblical epics to westerns, war movies, and even fantasy, and alien landscapes. Unfortunately, these iconic formations are feeling the pressure of encroaching land development, raising concerns about their future preservation. In summary, World Without End distinguishes itself with its inverted take on a post-apocalyptic world, where advanced humans live underground, while primitive beings inhabit the surface. Additionally, the passing of Nancy Gates in 2019 marked an important moment in the film's history, and the movie's use of the Garden of the Gods formations adds to its cinematic legacy. These elements contribute to the film's unique appeal and historical significance. As we reach the closing credits of our cinematic journey through the captivating landscapes of 1,956 seconds world without end, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the unique connection you've forged with this timeless classic. The story of a group of astronauts stranded in a post-apocalyptic world has left an indelible mark on cinema history, and I'm sure it has etched its own special place in your heart. Perhaps you were drawn to the film's portrayal of a dystopian future, sparking conversations about the fragility of human civilization. Or maybe you found solace in the camaraderie of the astronauts, their unwavering determination to survive resonating with your own journey through life's challenges. Now, I encourage you to share your cherished memories, musings, or reflections on World Without End. Did it spark a fascination with science fiction, or did it serve as a source of inspiration during trying times? Your thoughts are not only a testament to the enduring power of storytelling, but also a testament to the vibrant tapestry of human experiences. Thank you for taking the time to embark on this cinematic adventure with us, and for sharing your thoughts on World Without End. Your unique perspective adds depth to the tapestry of this film's history. Until our next journey through the worlds of cinema, keep the memories of World Without End alive, and remember that the magic of storytelling transcends time and space.